Hello again. So now uh, we've learned several Docker commands. We've learned about Docker PS, minus A, minus L, minus Q, or combining that, we learned how to stop a Docker image, stop or kill a Docker image. We learned how to run a Docker image interactively, a Docker container interactively, or run a Docker container in the background. Now, you must have heard me say sometimes Docker image, sometimes Docker container. Well, what the difference between Docker containers and Docker images. Let's have a look at this document, really useful document. And what we're going to learn here is what's an image, what's a layer, uh, you know, various image namespaces, and how to actually search and download images. Yeah, this is really, really useful stuff. So, what's an image? An image is a collection of files plus some metadata. So, technically, those files form the root file system of a container. Images are made of layers, maybe conceptually, you know, stacked on top of each other. So if you remember earlier when we installed wget on that Docker container, so that, that wget is considered like a new layer on top of what's existing. Each layer can add or maybe change or remove files, as we added files when we installed the wget tool. And images can share layers to optimize disk usage, transfer times, and memory use. This is a very useful feature of uh, Docker that several images they can actually share layers, yeah, to save you know space, to save time, and to save uh, memory usage and stuff like that. So you can see that we can have maybe the you know boot file system, and then we have a base image, and we uh, we can have other images that actually reference the base image, and so on and so forth. So the difference between the container and the image, when you know in the Docker context. In Docker, an image is a read-only file system, whereas a container is an encapsulated set of processes running in a read-write copy of that file system. So a container is a copy of the image. Remember this, a container is a copy of the image. The image is just read-only. So to optimize container boot time, copy on write is used instead of regular copy. Copy and write is a technique that we can speak about later, but this is an optimization technique to uh, basically speed up uh, the process, yeah? The docker run command starts a container from a given image. So we start a container from an image, yeah? Remember, and the image is read-only, container is like a, like a copy or something like that from the image. So docker run starts a container from the image. Maybe let's have a look at some metaphors. Um, what we're seeing here, that images are like templates or stencils that you can create containers from. If you look at this picture, so we can create, uh, 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 we can use this like uh, template to create these, uh, the, the, these little images. That's, that's my image and these are my, uh, my containers, yeah? The image is the template. Or if you're familiar with object-oriented programming, then images are like Images are similar to classes and layers, like inheritance, the concept of layers, and containers, conceptually similar to instances. So create an instance from a class, an object-oriented uh, uh, paradigm. Here, a container is an instance of an image. I hope that makes sense to make it clear. So let's have a look here. What if an image is read-only, then how do we change it? Well, we don't actually change the image. We create a new container from that image, then we make changes to the container. So when we installed wget earlier, we didn't change the Ubuntu image, but rather we created a new container from that image and we changed the actual container, not the original Ubuntu image. When we're satisfied, we can transform that into a new layer. And then that way, a new image is created by stacking the new layers on top of the old image. So in practice, there are multiple ways to create new images. We can use docker commit, docker build, docker import, we will be familiar with these commands, don't worry about the writing, we will do this hands-on, so we'll do this ourselves to create our own uh, images. Let's stop here and we'll continue in the next video.